it's your boy crypto millie back with another one and in today's video i want to talk about the tensor what i'm seeing on the charts as far as t a and also get into the yuma group aka yuma consensus because a lot of people ask me how and you know why BitTensor is decentralized so i want to break down how the yuma group contributes to the BitTensor ecosystem and also talk about a few things with the tau price action on the chart so if you like these type of videos make sure that you like subscribe hit the notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms as the macro continues to haunt us the market has been struggling a little bit in my opinion just a bit of a correction of course we got a little bit of tension you know global tension in the world right now but i still truly believe that at some point we will see an altcoin season and i'm very very bullish that a lot of the mind share will be allocated to the artificial intelligence sector and one of the top crypto coins in the ai sector of course is Betensor. as i said it's earlier it's one of my biggest holdings so i'm excited of where this project could you know potentially go with such dynamic tokenomics similar to bitcoin but also a lot of people don't know we have a halving coming very soon somewhere between the end of november and middle of december so i'm excited to see how big of a run we could possibly have if we have a bullish q4 now let's get into the price action of BitTensor. My theories and thesis never change. They stay consistent. We did lose the ultimate RSI. As you can see, we broke down here below the orange line. So, you know, in the short term, I do expect bearish momentum. You also have these two moving averages, which are key moving averages trending to the downside. And I always feel like as BitTensor gets to this red box, if you're truly bullish on the ecosystem, it's always a great opportunity to add to your bags. In fact, I don't hold as much subnets as I was holding as I want to get into Tau here in this little red area. It's always been a great buy zone. We've seen BitTensor uh, bounce back each time we got into this area and when you couple that with the fact that we could potentially get a stock rsi reset there's a lot to look forward to if the macro cleans up basically if we get the end of qt and continue to get fed cuts the global m2 is rising and bitcoin continues its bullish run at some point you'll see the altcoins ethereum solana the potentials catch up I also like to pay attention to the Tau dominance. It gives me an idea of the mind share and if people are buying into the ecosystem. You can see that the dominance, you know, technically is bearish, but the RSI is oversold. So, of course, under these moving averages, you are taking a risk, you're taking a chance. And I truly don't believe the tensor is going anywhere so the elephant in the room has always been what is yuma consensus yuma consensus is bit tensor's revolutionary consensus mechanism that enables decentralized evaluation and ranking of ai models without requiring centralized authority it's the first protocol to create a marketplace for machine intelligence unlike traditional blockchain consensus that focuses on transaction validation yuma consensus evaluates the quality and utility of ai intelligence provided by network participants it transforms ai development from centralized silos into collaborative competitive ecosystems the protocol creates a trustless environment ai models compete based on performance quality is determined through peer evaluation rewards are distributed based on contribution value and no single entity controls the network so this is true decentralized Decentralization. And hey, it makes these AI models compete with each other, right? So that we as the miners bring out the best of the best in AI intelligence. You might see miners competing with Ridges AI, right? You might see miners competing with Bitcast. And the Yuma validators make sure that we are getting quality over quantity and this is why i truly believe that BitTensor could be way more massive than something like open ai which is ran by one or two big players just a centralized entity where there's no competition 
and there's no rewards for innovation. By spreading decision making across the entire network, Yuma ensures fairness. No single company or server is in control. Validators consistently check outputs, protecting the system against manipulation. And because it's decentralized, the marketplace is open, transparent, and secure. Here's how it works. Miners are the ones submitting AI models. Think of them as the builders. Validators are evaluators scoring these models based on performance. Together, they create a feedback loop where the most useful models rise to the top and earn rewards. Yuma consensus is what makes BitTensor powerful. It levels the playing field. Instead of AI being locked behind the corporate walls, anyone can contribute, anyone can evaluate, and the best models get recognized. This is how BitTensor challenges centralized AI by making intelligence open, fair, and unstoppable. Yuma consensus isn't just a mechanism. It's a movement towards decentralized AI, fair, secure, and powered by the people. Welcome to the future of machine intelligence. Excuse me, I just finished playing basketball, so I'm a little bit sweaty here. But yeah, a bit tenser. We got a lot of investment funds loading large amounts of capital into BitTensor. I personally don't think they would be doing that if we were entering a beer market. I always talk about how Tao is at one of the intersections of two of the greatest and fastest financial instruments of all time, which is artificial intelligence and cryptocurrency. We've seen multiple billionaires come on the news and say, hey, I see Bitcoin hitting 1 million by this time. I see, uh, Tommy Lee said, I see Ethereum hitting 16,000 by the end of the year. These are crazy evaluations, right? Ethereum 16,000. So when you think about Bitcoin hanging around 200,000 to 1 million and Ethereum hanging around 16,000 to 20,000, I can only assume altcoins specifically like Tau with the scarcity and the way the tokenomics is set up, <clears throat> Bitcoin could be anywhere between 3,000 and 10,000 bucks per token. So that's pretty much how Yuma consensus works. Let me know what you think about the BitTensor ecosystem, your Tau, price predictions, and also what's your favorite BitTensor subnets on the rise. I'll continue to give you guys updates, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's your boy Crypto Millie, and I'll see you guys in the next one.